In year seven, students have 10 lessons of English a fortnight, and in year eight, they have eight. Um, one session of fortnight is dedicated to library time, in which they will sit silently and read. Every student will have a discussion with their teacher about the book they are reading. Um, we'll also kind of have a chat with them about how they're getting on, how much they're able, able to read at home, and then they will we'll set them a target for how many pages they should be reading for the next session. Outside the classroom, there are opportunities to join in with clubs such as creative writing and book clubs. Um, we also have opportunities for our students to become English leaders and LRC leaders, which involves kind of promoting events going on within the department, um, helping out with the library, as well as coming up with ideas and activities for the stu younger students to do in the clubs. Um, and I really like the library because there's um, lots of different like books and selections that you can choose from and it really determines what book you want to read and there's loads of different ones that you can choose from. Hi, I'm Russell Shoebridge and I'm a lead practitioner for English based here at Bowhunt School Worthing. We are committed to the core principles of quality English teaching, a range of high challenge literature texts to enjoy and study extended writing practice covering a number of styles and language-rich classrooms where new words are explicitly taught and used in whole class discussions and debates. Right, Harvey, tell us about the verbal feedback your teachers give you in English. So they record themselves giving you feedback, so they'll say, well done, you need to work on your full stops or things like that, and then you'll, you'll listen to it through your headphones in class and you'll write down what you need to improve and you'll write down the feedback in your book. Great, thank you. Bogdan, why, how is that helpful? How, how does that help you, Bogdan? Because it's a, like, a new way to like, get feedback and like, if you've done something wrong, you can like, always listen to it and not ask the teacher. And, like, you can always have it in your books or on your iPad. Harvey, we use quizzing apps like Nearpod in English. How do they help you learn? They help you learn because you can, they're very interactive and you can go over them if you're stuck and they're also really good revision tool so you don't have to work out on sheets and things like that. And also if you get a question right it tells you like well done you got a question right and if it tells you like you've got a question wrong you can go back into it and try and get it right the next time. Thank you. Thanks to powerful software such as Nearpod we can create revision quizzes and interactive lessons that engage the students and encourage them to become independent learners. With the iPad technology, students can access these study materials at home or in school repeatedly and within seconds. Upon completing these digital quizzes, the software will immediately give them feedback on the answers they got right and wrong, giving them useful information about their learning. Um, so we have been studying writing to argue pieces, so we've practiced different structures and we've also been studying different topics which we've been writing about, such as gun control and animal rights. Um, I personally have really enjoyed it because it's really um, good to have an opportunity to write persuasive pieces and I've also found the topics we've studied so far really interesting. The Hero Mother broke, dead soldiers bowed, gallant lies, glorious boy, useless swine, blown to bits. The general, secret to soon. General's incompetent plan of attack. His broken bright eyes gleam beneath lies. The voice of morning, the shrill wailing of goodbyes. A night to win, an hour to play, not for the sake of a selfish hope, but a name of a schoolboy that is one of a joyful mind. You, my friend. You frowned yesterday, killed cold, let sleep. I chase love, not honour. In death I stared with fixed eyes and a thousand fears, and I said, save the undone years, whatever hope is yours, lies mock the weeping. So I've been given this, this, this image to create, to create a piece of, of writing from and then I've, I've created a uh, sort of brainstorm of, of ideas of, of, of words, words that came to mind when I looked at the picture and, there, and then I, I started to write a, a piece just based on, but based on this image that's set, set in, the, in the atmosphere of, 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 the, of the picture. Hi, and welcome to your virtual introduction to the English department at Bowhunt Worthing. My name is Emily Warrington, and I'm the head of department at Bowhunt. And I'm hoping to use this video to give you a flavour of what your child's experience might be like if they joined us here at Bowhunt Worthing. 
Firstly, as a department and as English teachers, we are incredibly committed to improving our students' reading, writing, speaking and listening skills. But we also believe it's incredibly important to foster a love of reading. And we aim to do this at Key Stage 3 through our use of the library, but also through our lessons. In Key Stage 3, students are exposed to a number of high quality pieces of literature, some of which you can see on my right. We believe this is really important because students should leave school having an understanding of the world around them and be able to have access to characters and worlds that are different to their own. So when they go out into the real world, they can navigate it well and be well-rounded individuals. We also know um, that the students, when they get to GCSE, um, are having to sit some very demanding and rigorous qualifications. And we want to use Key Stage 3 to prepare them to be able to do this successfully. We take an unashamedly academic approach in the way that we teach English in the department. Firstly, because we want students to leave school with excellent exam results, but also because we believe it sets them up to be able to have an excellent work ethic going out into the real world. And we believe that they can take what they learn into English and help make the world a better and more well-rounded place. We look forward to answering your questions on our virtual video. Um, and if you have any further questions for the department, please don't hesitate to email in. Thank you.